Wednesday. He asked me out. You're going. Wow. There's only one. You bugging. Episode. Who's this lovely lady? Left. <gasps> That's it. You're dead. Tyler Perry's sisters. All new Wednesday at 9. Watch it live on BET. Karen is back at Zach's house. Q is home in bed naked. Zach got arrested and Karen looks like she finally sees the timeline. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and we are going to do a quick breakdown for the trailer for next week's episode, episode 10 titled our favorite places before we dive into it don't forget to subscribe share and like the video turn on that post notification bell so that you can be notified each time i post a video all right let's dive into it so the trailer starts off with sabrina and danny um, at sabrina's apartment and sabrina is telling danny about her date that she got so we know Baya came to the bank and invited her on a proper date. And she knows that Baya has that money money. So Sabrina is going to go. Even though she says it's not about the money, it still excites her. So Danny is like, you're going. And then we see another clip where she shows up in a gold dress. She looks really good in that dress. And Baya is like, wow. So she's actually going to take the date. I'm wondering if Calvin is going to pop up somewhere. Because we know Calvin is always popping up. He and Preston, they're always popping up somewhere. So she is going to be going on a date with Bio. Um, I mean, it's good to see Sabrina with somebody else. And her and Calvin is just not working out. Um, they don't trust each other too much. Sabrina don't trust Calvin in terms of his sexuality and then Calvin is just always trying to prove himself with Sabrina so I don't think they work well together so it's good to see her with somebody else what we also see in the trailer for next week is Danny seeing Preston on a date with a girl who supposedly her name is Kelly um, she's on a date with Preston apparently Danny knows her because she works at Andy's law firm as well so Preston is out on another date and Danny sees him and I'm guessing they're going to go with the back and forth again because they really don't know if they want to be together. Well, Preston wants to be with Danny, but Danny is not sure. Danny is not ready to be settled and having a full blown relationship. She just wants to enjoy life a little bit first before she gets into that. And speaking of Danny, her and Andy are going to be having dinner now. I think Andy invited her to dinner because she wanted her point of view when it comes to Gary. I mean, Gary has done a lot of stuff and it's always the norm that once somebody has done so much to you and they hurt you so much, you just leave them. But what if you really love that person? I think their love is worth fighting for if Gary is ready to get therapy and work through it. I think their love can be fought for because when they do love on each other, they are amazing together. And I keep saying that. So I think she should fight for it. I think she should give him another chance with a lot more rules and take it slower this time. But I think they can work it out because we do see in another scene where um, she and Gary are together. And do you see the smiles on their faces? That's what I'm talking about. They do love each other. So I think they can give each other another chance. All right, so let's switch it over to Maurice, Q, and Calvin. So Calvin came home and saw Q there. And Maurice apparently is going to get home. And Q is going to be laying in bed naked. <laughs> Q is not giving up. I think Maurice is going to give him another chance, even with all the things Sabrina is saying. I think he's going to give Q a chance because he really sees that there's a good side to Q without the drugs, without the crime. He has potential, just like Fatima saw potential in Zach. So I think he's going to give Q a chance. Speaking of Zach and Fatima, so Fatima finally went home and we see her and Karen in the driveway. I'm guessing it's when she just arrived and Karen is there. And Karen is asking her, why is he doing all of this with you in a few weeks when he didn't do it with me in the space of three years? And Fatima is asking, let me guess you want him back. 
Karen is popping up again. I don't think Karen should pop up. Uh, maybe she was trying to call him and she couldn't reach him, so she just decided to go. Karen, I think Zach is just moving on. He's not coming back. He's definitely not going to come back. I'm eager to see the response that Fatima is going to give Karen um, about that question that she asked, why is he doing this? I'm eager to see that response. Then Fatima finally finds out that the police came for Zach. And we see another scene where she's on the phone with Hayden and she's saying, you're dead. Uh, so we know Fatima... I'm not sure if she even spoke to Zach or got a call from him before she just assumed that whatever it is, it must be Hayden's fault. So <laughs> she's going to go after Hayden. I think she's probably going to go to the jail first to find out what happened and then go after Hayden. We know Jake did not call Fatima, so we still have no idea why Zach was arrested. But he's, at, he's in jail and he's saying to Jake, you're bugging. So whatever is on that paper, he really don't believe it has anything to do with him so we are still waiting to see why Zach was arrested I think that's where the episode is going to pick up so we can find out why he was arrested I'm thinking he's going to still call Fatima because he keeps nothing from her so he's going to want to tell her no matter what it is and the final scene that we see in the trailer is Karen looking at her phone and there's a frustrated look on her face now I'm guessing she finally sees the timeline. She finally takes a look at the timeline that Erin sent to her. Maybe she's even doing some calculating of her own to say, oh, maybe Erin is onto something. So I think it's the timeline that she's finally looking at. And hopefully she books her appointment soon. It doesn't seem we're going to get to know how far along Karen is until after the mid-season finale because her doctor appointment is still not booked. Alright guys, so that was my prediction for next week's episode, season 4, episode 10, titled Our Favorite Places. Tell me in the comments what you think of my predictions and what do you think is going to happen even while Zach was arrested. Thank you guys so much for your support and don't forget to share this video and subscribe, turn on that post notification bell so that you can be notified.